हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कॉन्टिन्यू आर मॉड्यूल ऑन द स्टोरी ऑफ विलेज पालमपुर बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रीकैप व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल ऑफ द सेम इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी केम टू नो अबाउट द विलेज पालमपुर द पीपल एंड देयर मेन प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फार्मिंग इन पालमपुर land is fixed land area cultivation is practically fixed since 1960 in palampur there has been no expansion in land area under cultivation by then some of the waste lands in the village had been converted to cultivable land is there a way one can grow more from the same land there are basically two ways of growing more crops from the same land to grow more than one crop on a piece of land during the year is called as multiple cropping it is the most common way of increasing production on a given piece of land a farmer in palampur grow at least two main crops many grow potato as a third crop in the past 15 to 20 years use of modern farming method the other way is to use modern farming methods for higher yield the green revolution in late 1960s introduced the indian farmers to cultivate wheat and rice using high yielding variety of seeds as a result the same piece of land would now produce far larger quantities of food grains than was possible earlier higher yields were possible only from a chemical fertilizers pesticides etc farmers of the village now had greater amount of surplus wheat to sell in the market will the land sustain land being a natural resource it is a necessary to be very careful in its use in many areas green revolution is associated with the loss of soil fertility and reduction of water table below the ground due to use of chemical fertilizers and tube wells in irrigation method how is land distributed between the farmers of palampur In Palampur about 1/3 of the 450 families are landless. Of the remaining families who own land, 240 families cultivate small plots. Cultivation of such plots does not bring adequate income to the farmer family. Who will provide the labor? After land, labor is the next basic factor of production. farming required a great deal of hard work small farmers along with their families cultivate their own fields they provide the labor required for farming themselves medium and large farmers hire farm laborers to work on their fields farm laborers come either from landless families or families cultivating small plots of land in palampur as the work is less for the number of laborers they are not given minimum wages set by the government so some laborers migrate to the cities the capital needed in farming the modern farming methods require a great deal of capital so that the farmer now needs more money than before most small farmers have to borrow money from large farmers or the village money lenders or the traders who supply various inputs for cultivation the rate of interest on such loans is very high they are put to great distress to repay the loan in contrast to the small farmers the medium and large farmers have their own saving from farming they are thus able to arrange for the capital needed sale of surplus farm products 
farmer produce crops on their lands by using the three factors of production via land labor and capital they retain a part of produce for self consumption and sell the surplus in the nearby market the part of farm produce which is sold in the market is called marketable surplus small farmers have little surplus output it is a medium and the large farmers only who have substantial surplus produce for selling in the market non farm activities in palampur out of every 100 workers in the rural areas in india only 24 are engaged in non farm activities there is a variety of non farm activities in the village dairy small scale manufacturing transport etc fall under this category some of the people are engaged in these non farming activities dairy is a common activity in many families of palampur the milk is sold to the nearby large village small scale manufacturing at present very few people are engaged in manufacturing in palampur manufacturing in palampur involves very simple production methods and are done on a small scale production is carried out mostly at home or in the fields with the help of family labor the shopkeepers of palampur very few people were involved in trade in palampur the traders of palampur are shopkeepers who buy various goods from wholesale markets in the cities and sell them in the village they have small journal stores in the village selling a wide range of items like rice wheat sugar etc transport a fast developing sector there are variety of vehicles on the road connecting palampur to rajganj they ferry people and goods from one place to another and in return get paid for it so we have discussed today about farming in palampur and non farm activities in palampur thank you stay at home stay safe and read your module please